morning guys yesterday was a tough day for me um, I am sick and it's very true that Cambridge is real and it gets hard very quickly just because they don't really stop everything happens very fast as if you're already acclimatized but obviously for us freshers we're still getting used to it but they're not slowing down for us that's not a bad thing necessarily I mean, it's kind of what we expected. We knew that Cambridge was tough. It just definitely takes a toll on you. And I did get Fresh's flu. I saw the college nurse yesterday because every fresher has to see her. And I found out that because I have an asthma, it was made worse by the Fresh's flu, a viral infection, that's what that is. And I have a chest infection now. And I was just speaking to my mom on the phone afterwards she was just like, you have to take care of yourself, you have to take breaks. And I'm just like, I want to. I want to go to my room and sleep. But I can't because I have so much reading to do for my supervisions. I have so much questions to answer and research to do. It feels like there's no time at all to just take a minute, just have a nap if I'm ill. And I don't want to use the... I'm sick reasoning already, it's only the first week of term and I don't know, I feel like an extra pressure, not pressure, but I feel extra responsibility not to do that because of my skin tone and because I want to break that stereotype that, you know, Caribbeans are lazy, whatever it is and through circumstances I already miss my first supervision and was late to my others. I was late to my fourth one because I had a meeting with my tutor, my college tutor and it ran over. I was only late by two minutes which is uh, technically the earliest I've been to a supervision but it's just not a good look and I don't like that perception of me and I really wanted to just cry. When I'm sick I turn to just a miserable person. I just wanted to just sleep I just wanted time to myself and I felt like I couldn't have it but obviously it was just the mounting pressure which you do get used to and then I went to the ACS meet and eat which is an event they did this year where members or just anyone in the university can come and meet all years undergrad and postgrad and it was lovely I couldn't eat any of the food there because it wasn't not free and I'm not trying to have an allergic reaction here, but one of the um, members of the committee is so lovely. She bought me some food and that was really nice. And some green tea because I'm trying to get healthy. I'm trying to be my best 100% health again. It was so lovely being there and just seeing that you're not alone here. The stereotypes about, oh, you're gonna go to Cambridge and be the only black person there. It's not true. There are black people from all corners of the world, so many people from London, East London, North London, Croydon, they're here, they're doing up the most, they're definitely making their presence felt and that should never be a deterrent to you applying. Also we got a speech from some representatives from RARE who help people who are from, um, I think they said black backgrounds with like strong academic ability but just not knowing potentially what options are out there. They help you get job opportunities. So by the time that you leave university, you're already sitting on a job offer and you're ready to go. Um, luckily I met Rare at an event like this, so they came down, so I mean it was a long time ago now, but someone was doing what I'm doing now, talking about Rare, and I said, let me sign up so that I can have employment when I graduate, as opposed to not having a job. Um, and I'm glad that I did. Um, what Rare does is help you through the process with all of the firms that we work with. So if you first need to figure out what to pick, we'll help you look through a number of things like the law, finance, marketing, public sector teaching, um, data analysis, we even work with GCHQ, so you can go and help the spies out if you want. Um, so I personally got help with the civil service, and Rare helped me with my application. They gave me a mock interview, they gave me a mock assessment centre, which was really good because I'd never really had proper interviews before, bar my Oxford interview. 
um, and I got the job. So I actually spent two and a half years working on government policy, working at the Treasury, looking at the education budget, and I really wouldn't have done any of that if I hadn't joined Rare because I didn't even know what the civil service fast stream was. And the whole the event on the whole was just so lovely to just socialise. I cut it off early for me. I wasn't going to go to the um, house party and then the club. So I went home and then I, it was a lot on. I realised one of my friends invited me to Pri's at her house. And she was like, come, I have lemon sip. I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's tempting. So I went to hers and I just spoke to some people I hadn't seen in a while. Two days feels like a very long time here at Cambridge. You will realise if you haven't seen someone in two days, it feels like you haven't seen someone in about two weeks. It's very condensed, the whole experience. I was just talking to my friend and then my mum calls and she's like, oh, so you're awake, you can answer your text. I was like, what text? I didn't get text. She was like, well, I'm coming down to see you in a bit. I was like, what, you're coming down? Like, I was so happy. Especially because um, I got a prescription from my GP, but because I'm 19, they said I had to pay for it. And I was already having financial problems, like there was a problem with my student fin finance and I had to get that sorted and that was stressing me out as well. And like, yeah. I was a lot on and I was like I cannot be paying like eight pounds e for each item at least even though I really need it um, but she brought down one of the things I needed that I had at home but I just didn't think I'd need because I haven't had to use it in like five years but um, and obviously because I thought I was untouchable for some reason even though I have such a like weak immune system which is getting better hopefully but um it was so lovely to see her. She brought down so many things that I needed, that I didn't bring, that I thought I'd just buy down here. No, like TCP and vapor rub, and what else did she bring me? Uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother, the more of that, and the flask. I left the hot drinks flask. I cannot go out without my hot drinks. It's necessary. She brought me some distilled water because we used to have distilled water in our house and it was just and a saucepan it was just lovely to see her she's you know but after and um i felt like a little baby but i definitely felt like a stronger wave of missing her after she left which is why i guess they say don't see your friends and family too soon after you've left because then you don't really get accustomed to not being with them. That's the only thing. I love my family so much. And I'm really grateful. Fellow asthmatics, you'll know how I feel. I'm speaking slowly because I have to take a breath after I speak. I'm still wheezy a little bit, but not that strongly. I don't know. I feel like my mental health definitely played a part in me getting better just now. Anyway, I still do have a lot to do. I signed up to a lot of societies, but I realise I'm not going to be able to do them all. And one thing I have to remember is that this is only my first year. If anything, I can always try again next year. And plus, I don't think you have to join all of them right now. You could join later if that's what you so wish to do. But I have to go to the library, answer some emails. Because the library internet is faster than in my room. And meet a few people. There's some modelling casting thing going on. Me and my friend's going to go. So see about that. And I'm gonna get ready and take you with me as per usual. But last bit of advice, that Cambridge definitely does feel and sometimes you can just want to break down a lot of people do. So many people just let go of their health and all they'll just feel overwhelmed. And tears are I think tears are common, but it's just because it is a very fast moving environment and you feel like you have to be, you have to hit the ground running. When you don't, you definitely need to acclimatise, but your health comes first. And it's okay to miss a few things. And just remember, like, you came for your degree and not socialising. And so if you're going to prioritise anything, that's what you have to prioritise. But then 
the next thing above your degree is your health. You cannot do your degree, you cannot perform at your best if you're sick. Trust me, you just want to sleep or lie down and that's when the stress will mount up. So definitely take care of your health and take care of your degree. Everything that comes after is secondary. That doesn't mean it's not important to you. It's just to help you organise your life better and feel more on top of things. And that's what I'll leave. Now let's get ready to start the day. Yeah. Yeah. So my friend's coming over today. It's going to be really fun. And I still haven't done my law reading, but I'm not going to stress too much because the lecture notes should be available. And so is that Roman law bible that we got. So I'm going to get that and do the questions on that. Then go collect my friend. So my friend is here. I've finished my lectures for today. Woke up like five minutes before the maintenance guy came. I finally emailed them about the door. And uh, he was like, should you want me to come by late? And I was like, yeah, please, because I was out of it. Um, then I got ready for my lectures. Spilt my coffee trying to open it. The lid was on very strongly or I was really weak. Either is supported, theory. Um, but yeah, and then I had to like scoop it all up because I ain't about to waste all of that. That was Dowd Burt's coffee, that is not cheap. So I scooped that back, <laughs> so maybe you guys might want my coffee, but that's fine, more for me. Um, and then ran off to my lectures. Both of them were really good today, actually, really interesting. No Roman law there. Um, I had a few little chit-chats with some peeps. Came back, chat to my friend, left again. Well, I got some... Did I get food? Yeah, I got some pizza, some leftover pizza. See if I can locate it. There we go. Who wants to fuck us? A hey, my leftover pizza. Um, got some of that. Headed back. Now I am just planning eating some yogurt from my throat. Just making a shopping list of the stationery I want. I really think I need it to be organised, you know. And uh, there's some clothing that I'd like to buy as well. Just because if I'm going to be playing basketball, I need some workout clothes which I neglected to bring like the intelligent girl I am so that's what's happened huh I was thinking about something else as well oh but anyway we'll see what happens in it been out all day guys and I feel so much better than I did before um my top is sweaty but yeah I wouldn't wear it because it's warm ish and it matches the aesthetic so we're gonna do a nastiness we're just gonna put some scented oils on the clothes um if you have like a freshness spray or perfume not perfume actually perfume will just like mix as well you don't want that you want like like mist like oil mists oils put that on your top and it'll be fine and then you know you don't have to wash it yet it's fine i'm still dirty so the top can be dirty too and if you have sweat patches and it's cold hair dryer or iron it don't ask me how i know just take the advice I'm back, there are people in my neighbour's room so I'm trying to just talk quietly. It's been quite a good day, I woke up early and got some emails done. Unfortunately no reading done, which is crazy. But yeah, um, then I went to the bank, I went to like uh, Cam FM which was really cool. We basically had to like work on just our reading voices and they recorded us. Which is awkward and like listening back to our voices and then we had to do it in accents like could be 
that someone had to do an accent and then the person next to them had to try and do an impression of that accent and yeah it was at the end it was just like it started off in Dorset and it went to like ended up in like Chicago yeah it was an interesting experience but it was really fun and I went and met a friend for coffee had a little coughing fit as you do um then I went to like this like <laughs> modeling casting they're doing for charity which was really fun um and then after that oh just went back to my room and I there was someone who needed to collect his stuff from last year he came and collected his stuff I went and met a friend for dinner. It's been a very like social day. I was meant to get a lot of work done. That hasn't happened yet. Oh, I feel a coughing fit coming out, so I'm gonna go. Oh. Mm. That's done. Whew. Probably not fully done. Shower, bed. I wasn't meant to stay up this late. Friends coming from London. Sure. Oh yeah, reason I stayed up late. The bop. I forgot about that. To mark the final of Freshers Week. Wow, you can hear it in my voice. Um, yeah, that was interesting. That's all right. But yeah, bed. Guys, just gone and met my friends, and we're gonna go to um, the town for a bit, or in town. We're gonna go to the toilet and then to water stay.
Or look at us tourists. Definitely late. This doesn't even feel like Cambridge anymore. Hey, I think I made it. I think it's that building down there. I'm on for chemical engineering and biotech. So yes, it must be that one down there. I made it. Better late than never, right? I just made myself some soup after crashing when I came back from basketball trials. It was a very long day, guys. It was just like intense. And we have an artist over there in the corner. <laughs> um, but yeah, so my bread is totally, totally not stale. Um, <gasps> what? Sorry, we didn't hear you. And my soup is um, watered down, but I added enough seasoning so that it tastes all right. And if I dip the bread, then it tastes completely fine. I mean, but that's only secondary because we are ordering Domino's anyway. I'm just checking on order for delivery. Okay, I'll get ready to go and meet him at the gate then. That's one thing, though. I have to go all the way to the gate to get it. I guess it's like what it would be like living in a castle, you know? Anyway, the people in my kitchen, they like put out some digestives because it was like they want us to all get to know each other but they also told us to clean up because the kitchen was a mess it was the gross i don't understand how you can leave the kitchen looking like that and be happy with yourself but um the people i've met in my staircase are really nice they probably just have Hello? different standards to i do oh we're coming down oh go go that's our person with your blankie superhero proper student living <laughs> Bazaar. Back. Hold on. Time to dig in. That one, my one. 